What's up guys, Rupdad here and welcome back to Paper Mario! Mario's just sitting here watching the stars fall. That one almost hit Goombario. So did that one. Anyway, in the last episode, we made it to Shooting Star Summit. And got to talk with the Star Spirits finally. And learned of their plight. Bowser has them captured and scattered all over the Mushroom Kingdom. And in order to stop him and save Peach, we need to go find and rescue them. Sounds simple enough. So in this episode, we're going to get a move on and start that, shall we? Watch it, shooting star. So we're going to head over here and... Ouch! Hey, it's Twink, the star kid! Who went to help Princess Peach in the last episode. He found us! Pretty quickly, too, at that. Okay, you can calm down, hyper little uh, star kid. And Twink is going to give us the Lucky Star, and no, it has nothing to do with the anime of the same name. The Lucky Star allows us to use Action Commands, which is something I have been waiting for, because this is going to make battles a lot more strategic and... Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and go through the explanation just to show it off, as Goombario is going to be forced into being our uh, punching bag. Sorry, Gumbario. Just gonna show this off for the sake of tutorial stuff, even though it probably isn't necessary. So, first off, the jump command. As Twink points out where our uh, explanation for it is going to be. Jump, and right before you stomp an enemy, press the A button, and boom! Extra jump power. Very nice. Increasing the amount of damage you do is always good. And it goes the same defensively, too. Right before you get struck by an enemy, press the A button, take less damage. The damage usually only increases or decreases by one, though. I think there might be badges that can alter this later in the game, though I have never really had any need for them. Action commands are pretty simple. The hammer is a little different. You have to hold the control stick to the left. As soon as you reach, each, yeah, reach the star, what am I, a broken record today? Let go of it and boom. Hammer down. Uh, no, I don't want to practice anymore. We have done what we needed to. Action commands are really going to make battles a lot smoother because now we can defend ourselves and do extra damage in the process, which is always nice. Here you are. Oh, great. The kid got followed. Kid, you're fired. What a foolish star kid. I knew that if I followed you, I'd find Mario. If I defeat Mario right now, I'll be famous. I'll tell Cammy Koopa. She'll shower me with praise. She'll give me a raise. Here I come. And we have a mini boss battle here with this magic Koopa. We will be encountering Magic Koopas later in the game as normal enemies, so this one's stats are actually weaker than theirs. So don't worry, we won't be encountering Magic Koopas for quite some time, so you don't have to worry about them. For this guy, he has 8 HP, 3 attack, which is actually pretty powerful for this point in the game. Luckily we just learned action commands. And he will do this in the form of a Magic Blast. But, like everything else we've encountered thus far, no defense. I should point out that while he's riding on his broom, he is an airborne enemy, and thus, you cannot use your hammer, so you will have to jump on him. So, we are going to knock him off his broom with a power jump and do quite a bit of damage in the process, very nice. And now let's head bonk him as well. And action commands do apply to your partners too. Nice, block the magic blast. And let's go ahead and hammer down. Smash those glasses. And he is dead and gave us quite a bit of star points in the process, too. Very nice. Very nice. And good riddance. Yep, we'll be beating Bowser soon enough. Good luck, Twink. Have a safe trip back. 
Forget something? Yes, Princess Peach had a message for us. She's alright, don't worry about her. Well, she's lonely, maybe she should go keep her company. Don't worry, I'll be up there as soon as I get all the seven star spirits. Which is unfortunately going to take a while. Saving the world is not something I can do with a snap of a finger. Or fingers. Yeah, he's a bit of a brave little guy, isn't he? Brave little star. Shamey's not a talking toaster. Brave Little Toaster was actually a pretty kick-ass movie. I That was one of my favorite movies growing up. I can't help it. Not too fond of its sequel, though. Anyway. So we're gonna head back into town and... Oh, hello, Toad. Merlin lives in the house with the spinning roof. So we have to go meet with him now. A rarity, huh? <laughs> Interesting. So let's go meet with them, shall we? Merlin is out! Why do you keep on knocking? I'm telling you, he's out! Ow! Was that really necessary, old man? Yes, I am Mario, at your service. I should, I should make you pay me for hitting me with a damn door. Oh, well, forgive me, I have more urgent matters to attend to, like, oh, I don't know, the fate of the world? Where to begin? My name is Merlin. I am a wizard. When I was reading the stars the other day, an oracle came to me. What I discovered is very important, and it concerns you. But before I tell you about it, there are other things of which I must speak. Oh, really? It is a very long story, but I'll try to shorten it. Where should I start? Um, how about at the very end? It was in the old days. One of my ancestors was up on Shooting Star Summit, and as usual. But one day it happened. Suddenly, a great appeared in I. Then the far away, the... I was still so young then. And... Then... So... What? Uh, yeah, yeah, I was listening. Uh, sure, Merlin. Whatever you say. Just, uh... Yeah. <clears throat> so, anyway, that is why I am able to help you. If you get lost during your adventure, you can come to me. Yes, Mer if you pay Merlin money, he will tell you where you need to go next. And yes, my main goal is to save Princess Peach, of course. Your path must first take you to the great fortress of the Koopa Bros. To reach the Koopa Brothers fortress, head east on the road in front of the Toad House. Um... Okay, but... Weren't there a bunch of toads going that way? Are they gone now? No, they are not! Go figure. Ah, <sighs> will you stop talking and... Shouldn't go ask Merlin for help. <laughs> green? You are stupid. Which is a shame because green is my favorite color. You insult me. I've got half a mind to kick your ass just for that. So, uh, Merlin, care to help us out, buddy? Come again? Strange toads blocking the east side of Toad Town. That shouldn't be. That's ridiculous. Such a thing has never been heard of. Never! I'll get to the bottom of this. Follow me over there. I'll see what's going on. Well, as you wish. So, we just follow after Merlin. And... Are these the strange toads you were talking about? Yep, that's them, alright. They won't let us pass. Hmm. You aren't toads, are you? <laughs> nice try, guys. Reveal your true selves! 
Well, I'll be damned, it's the Koopa Bros. Ninjas, man. Always trying to pull tricks on people. And they're in retreat back to their fortress, where we will pursue them. Mario, those imposters were none other than the Koopa Bros. You must pursue them to their hideout, the Koopa Brothers Fortress. Oh, Mario, there's one part of your fortune I haven't revealed. To get to the Koopa Bros Fortress, you'll need help from a blue-shelled Koopa. That is very important information, and thank you for remembering to tell us, Merlin. So... We might be able to find him in Koopa Village. Sounds good to me. So, with that said, I'm going to save, and I think I'm actually going to call it quits for this episode. I know it was a little on the shorter side, but most of these Paper Mario episodes have been. Just, we're actually, this is actually technically the full end of the prologue, and I... Figured it'd probably be best to stop here. For that reason. So, thank you guys for watching. I have been Rupdat. And I will see you guys next time when we begin to pursue the Cooper Brothers back to their fortress and kick their asses to retrieve the first of many star spirits. See you guys then.